<laughs> so, um, I, you don't like to talk about your ex's current, but you had a lot of also personal drama. I did. I now, do. Now, <laughs> if that used to be a 10, what is that now? You know, it ebbs and flows. It's sometimes it's fine, and other times it sucks. You know, and we ultimately, it's as you know, you have to co-parent. This person is going to be in your life for the rest of your life. It's not like you didn't have kids and you can walk away and never talk to them again. Right. Which would be great. Right. <laughs> I mean, although I want my children, I'm just saying. Um, and how do you reconcile that in your mind? Like, why did this happen to you? Why do you have to deal with this? How do you reconcile that? How do you kind of, what's, there's got to be, there are always checks and balances. So what's the, the, besides your children, what's the positive? You know, I think he's actually become a much better father through divorce because when we were together, he wasn't home a lot and spent a ton of time with the kids. And now he's really present. And that's a good positive. That's, that's my, that's what, that, the one positive I take away from it because the rest freaking sucks. <laughs> Do you ultimately think he's a good person that did something not good, wrong, or? I, I don't think he's like a, a serial killer, but, right. um, <laughs> you know, he's <laughs> for sure, but, you know, it is it is what it is. I mean, right. he's not, if he saw someone that needed help on the side of the road, he probably would help them. I right. mean, he's not a bad human being. I understand. He's just a, sh that's a bad word. That's a bad, right. he's not a good, he wasn't a good husband. Got it.